for today's cup of coffee. Yeah, this is the big weekend before, and it's like having to go out shopping on Friday. <laughs> oh my God. I survived. I lived. And it's just, it's crazy because weekend shopping combined with holiday shopping ends ended up being a huge cluster, especially in the grocery store. And it's all right because I lived. And uh, the day that this is uploaded, I'm going to rest. <laughs> I am going to rest. I'm going to drink lots of coffee. I urge all pirates out there to have extra coffee and grog um, in preparation for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and all that comes with it. But also within the bustle and the busyness and all that, which it's so easy to get caught up in, I want you to take a time to watch the original, the uh, animated version of in The Grinch, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I have never watched the live action. I have no desire to watch the live action because the cartoon version was so brilliantly done and that Dr. Seuss, who reportedly didn't even like children, um, <laughs> it was... It encapsulated the spirit, the true spirit of Christmas perfectly. And that we have been in this time frame for whatever reason that people have wanted to try to outdo perfection. Well, that's never going to work. So watch that. I have no problem being a who in Whoville. I really don't. And it doesn't matter if it comes without boxes and bows and tags and whatever it is. It was that sense of togetherness. And when that star was right in amongst them, that was what it was that touched the Grinch's heart. That's another huge redemption story. People focus on who the Grinch was, just like Scrooge, Ebenezer Scrooge, instead of who he became. So that that's interesting. And the other one is Charlie Brown's Christmas and his portal tree and his search for meaning. And Charles Schultz was always one of my favorite artists. He's still one of my favorite artists because there were there was so much philosophy in his work. And he he just and the character of Linus. He was always my favorite. And even with the security blanket, he may have had external fears, but he was a very grounded character. So in amongst the wrapping and the cooking and the baking and all the busy, take a few minutes to sit and watch these and just really capture the spirit of the season. Yeah, and rest before the busy hits again. Take a day or a few minutes or whatever you can. Make it, block it off and tell people. It's like, look, for this period of time, it's like I had told husband when he called her. I said, on Saturday, I said, I don't want anybody to look at me. I don't want anybody to speak to me. I don't want anybody to ask me for anything. I don't care if it's got two legs, four legs, six legs, or eight I want a day to decompress. So that is my intention, whether that becomes uh, actuality. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, just, you know, take a step back. And especially the world as it is today. Mm -mm. Like I said, don't you let the devil just take your joy. Not for a second. Even amongst the busy, always keep that light and that joy in your heart if you've had it if you've had encounters i hear kid in our coughing still <laughs> if you've had encounters with the paranormal and supernatural and experiences with ufos aliens cryptids what have you he's just totally throwing me off track and he's in the other part of the house uh you can send me a email cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com it has been a long long week prayers are always appreciated like, share, comment, subscribe, thumbs up. 
and know that you're loved. Know that you are very, very loved and appreciated. And Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cup. Bye.